Hi, and thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Dave Klein. We are thankful for the Pennsylvania Dutch heritage this area is known for. After all, when we think of Pennsylvania Dutch, surely Dietrich's Meats and Country Store comes to mind with their yummy Dutch treats and delicacies. None of this would be possible if it weren't for the late Willard Dietrich and his wife, Verna. Let's travel with Verna through the decades now. 1931 saw worldwide unemployment reach double figures. Australia gained independence. The Empire State Building was completed. China's Yellow River flooded. The George Washington Bridge opens. Just 10 days before Verna Leiby was born, the Star Spangled Banner became the United States National Anthem. Verna was born in Perry Township, the eldest daughter of George and Florence Leiby. Oh, you help do the chores like uh, milk the cows and hunt the eggs and wash eggs and pack eggs and whatever, make supper tonight for, me, for all the men that worked there and for your family. And then you had to wash dishes. You didn't have a dishwasher at that time. Fast forward to 1945. Harry S. Truman becomes U.S. President following the death of President Roosevelt. World War II begins to near its end in April as the Allies close in on Berlin. The United States Navy Flight 19 disappears over the Bermuda Triangle. It was a memorable year for Verna Leiby. She celebrated her eighth grade graduation. Attending various one-room schoolhouses and Perry High School, Verna did not graduate from high school. Instead, she opted to work on the family farm and in the factories of the nearby booming borough of Hamburg. I worked at Berkeley's underwear in Hamburg, in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. I was four lady there. I had 45 girls under me. I had to keep their bins filled with uh, long chunks. That time the men wore long chun underwear, they called them. And I had to, kept the bin, had to keep the bins filled so the girls could keep their flat lockers going. And then, of course, they had other machinery too. We every ran other machines. I had the whole floor. I was the four lady, so I had to keep the shoe on the road. I mean, I was, and also we had a, the four lady had to keep the machines all running and keep this, that the employees who were on the machines, so they had needles if a needle broke or so they had, if the thread spool got empty, I had to supply, get their supplies and go downstairs to the main office to get that. Rolling into the golden age, Elizabeth II became the Queen of England and the United Kingdom. The Today program debuted on NBC. The polio epidemic got worse. Mother Teresa opened the home for dying and Puerto Rico became a self-governing commonwealth of the United States. Above all else, Verna married her lifelong sweetheart, Willard Dietrich, on August 2nd, 1952. Four years later, Willard and Verna purchased the family farm and continued operations while expanding the dairy herd and raising their three sons. Along with the day-to-day -day tasks of the farm, the family began a small huckster route in the Hamburg area, selling their goods and wares. They sold anything and everything, from eggs to feed bags, vegetables to butchering concoctions produced in the farm's wash house. Verna utilized radio advertising to the full potential that it has by using her own homespun charm with an extensive knowledge of the traditions because, well, she lived it. She's the real thing. Let's listen to another of Verna's radio commercials. Hi, this is Verna Dietrich from Dietrich Meats in Crumbsville. Why not fill your freezer now with your choice of beef sides, quarters, beef rinds, and rib racks? Also, whole and half hogs fully processed, wrapping and freezing available. Dietrich's also has those hard to find items like real good country sausage, extra meaty scrapper, liver pudding, crock pudding, sauce, tripe, braunschweiger, knockwash, hot dogs, cheese dogs, smoked spare ribs, smoked pork chops, plus over 60 different products. For your custom smoking cure, bring your hams, bacon, dry beefs, bolognese, and sausage to Dietrich's to have them smoke the mildly cured way or the old-fashioned way. What was that? You're tired of frozen deer meat? 
bring it to Dietrich's and have it processed into summer bologna, sweet bologna, butcher bologna, ring bologna, meat sticks, or sausage, over 23 different items. As always, you know, Dietrich's accepts food stamps and always has plenty of free samples to tantalize your taste buds. Take 222 North to the Crumbsville exit, go north on Route 737 to the blinking light, turn left to find Dietrich meat. Fanchen da drüber. Ooh. Sie sind auch pointiger. What a shot. Now all you have to do is bring it to Dietrich's meat. Everybody brings their deer, moose, antelope, bear, and other game to Dietrich's for, for processing. Dietrich's does it your way, and we offer 23 different processing selections. Dietrich's also sells top quality beef, pork, lamb, and veal, plus lots of Pennsylvania Dutch favorites like tripe, sauce, and nutwurst. A full line of turkeys, capons, ducks, geese, pheasants, guineas, chuckers, rabbits, and quail all available fresh and smoked. We take food stamps and we're always happy to give you a free sample so you can see why so many people go out of their way to Dietrich's. Take Route 222 to the Crumbsville Kutztown exit, go north on Route 737 to the blinking light and turn left. Nobody does it like Dietrich's meats for quality and flavor. When you want the best in news commentary, listen to Paul Harvey. And when you want the best meats, take a drive to Dietrich Meats and tantalize your taste buds. See for yourself why so many people choose Dietrich's for top quality choice meats. You'll find grain-fed beef, pork, lamb, and veal, over 60 processed meat products, a full line of homemade lunch meats. And remember, it's all fresh quality meats that will make meal planning a pleasure. Choose from a large selection of mild cured hams, no water added, old-fashioned hard-smoked farmer's ham, and hard-to-find items like sauce, tripe, speckwash, blutwash, kishka, breadwash, German mince bologna, and braunschweiger. You name it, and Dietrich's has it. Ducks, geese, turkeys, capons, pheasants, quail, chucker partridge, game hens, guineas, and rabbits. Come on, say hello to the Dietrich family, and be sure you try the special taste of Dietrich meats. Free samples available and food stamps accepted. Take Route 22 West to the Crumbsville exit, go north on Route 737 to the blinking line and turn left to find Dietrich meat. Heading into the peak of the baby boomer years, Elvis Presley purchases Graceland. Well, thank you very much. And the first nuclear reactor plant opens in Pennsylvania. The final new episode of the classic television comedy I Love Lucy aired on CBS. Verna and her family began tending a small table offering goods at Redinger's Farmer's Market near Kutztown. After a larger farmer's market building was added, the family followed in step, adding considerably more space to their ever-growing booth. This continued growth eventually led the family to realize the need for a local butcher shop and retail country store. A born promoter and firm believer in advertising, Verna was an early customer of WFMZ-TV, where lifelong customer and friend Kathy Crane would guide her through creating effective commercials. For decades, many of you have seen her recognizable billboards and have heard her distinctive Pennsylvania Dutch voice on her commercials featured daily during WEEU's feedback program and my own Mountain Folk radio and web show. Now, let's listen to and enjoy some of the classic commercials for Dietrich's Meats and Country Store, featuring the star of the show, Verna Dietrich. The Pennsylvania German culture remains strong some 300 years after immigrants settled here. You find proof of that at Dietrich's Meats and Country Store in Crumbsville, Berks County. That's where typical Pennsylvania German foods are prepared fresh every day. Verna Dietrich and her husband started the business 27 years ago. Yeah, there was a need for it. I mean, there weren't too many people around that were, had the knowledge of making all these things from scratch. Verna says she was raised cooking in the Pennsylvania German tradition. Behind the smoke room doors, we find a local favorite, ring bologna. That's our own homemade ring bologna. It's an all beef ring bologna. It's in a natural casing and it's made from our own meats. Dietrich raises its own cattle, slaughters and prepares it right on site. Summer bologna, all natural beef jerky. Here's a German chop washed and a German nut wash. Bacon, ham, Cornish hens, sausage and more. In the Pennsylvania German tradition, no part of the animal goes to waste. We find beef tongue hanging in the cooler, smoked pig ears up for sale and chicken hearts. 
try a little chicken heart. It's very good. Is it? What does it taste like? Chicken? It's just like poultry. <laughs> just like chicken. It does. It just tastes like every other part of yeah. the chicken. What is this? Pig snot. And it tastes like what? It's Pig like foot? a... Yeah, it's muscle. It's like oh, I've never had either. Oh, it's got like the hair on it or something. Well, yeah, the snot. You want me to eat the, sure, the hair and all? it's all good. Eat the whole thing. It's very good. They're clean. <laughs> and they're cooked. That was good. Goes good with your chicken heart. <laughs> <laughs> the verdict? Yeah. You have to develop a taste for it. I had no problem, though, trying one of Thelma's peanut butter cookies, one of a long list of desserts and breads baked daily. Verna prides herself on the fact that all her items, from cookies to meat, are fresh and all natural. It's all top quality. It's all home raised, grain fed, no chemicals, no additives, no preservatives, all, hit, all natural smoke. We're here at the Dietrich farm, where the Dietrich family raises their own corn fed beef, lamb, pork, turkeys, and ducks. From the Dietrichs farm, the animals come right here to the Dietrichs country store, where the meats are aged, processed, and inspected to meet the highest standard of quality. The Dietrich boys invite you to come in and watch them custom cut your meat order. The retail counter will amaze you and tantalize your taste buds with free samples of over 50 varieties. At Dietrichs, you'll go for their quality meat. I guarantee it. To get real country flavor, you have to come out to the country to Dietrichs Meats. Any of Dietrichs customers will tell you why. For five years, we've been coming from 512 in Bethlehem to get those meats, the best in the world. I come to Dietrichs for their fresh country sausage, their meaty spare ribs, and their kielbasa and Slim Jims. When I'm running low, I come out and buy wholesale cuts instead of a complete side of meat. That way, I can get just what I like, and I save money, too. Take Route 22 to the Croomsville exit, turn left at the stoplight. Sing in various shapes and sizes. Make your next family gathering a huge success with Dietrich's Meats. Take the Crumbsville exit off Route 22, turn left at the stoplight to Dietrich's Meats. Your shop brings back lots of childhood memories, the smells, the taste of country goodness. That same great country flavor is alive and well at Dietrich's Meats, where our dedication to quality and freshness has kept our friends coming back year after year. Lunch meats, specialty meats, smoked meats, steaks, chops, and roasts. Quality you can see, Freshness you can taste. Dietrich's Meats, an authentic country butcher shop just off I-78 at the Crumbsville exit. Enjoy the radio ad. Well, well, here we go again. Verna Dietrich. It tastes like a fried potato from the Dietrich in Crumbsville. You know Dietrich Meats has a full line of beef, pork, lamb, and veal, plus delicious smoked tames, turkeys, ducks, geese, and pheasants. The most delicious pies, cakes that you have ever tasted. The pie crust melts in your mouth. We have a full line of crumb pies such as rhubarb, strawberry, rhubarb, cherry, blueberry, peach, apricot, and apple. Also the old-fashioned lemon strip, lemon sponge, and open apple tarts. Dietrich's also has a full line of breakfast cakes such as the wet bottom shoe fly, chocolate shoe fly, Montgomery, and vanilla pies, funny cakes, and baby cakes. Special orders are also taken for mincemeat pies, Boston Off Donuts, Race Cakes, and delicious cream pies and custards. And I almost forgot, Dietrich's has a full line of hickory nuts, English walnuts and black walnuts, dried corn and beans. Why not take Route 222 North to the Crumbsville exit, go north on Route 737 to the blinking light, and turn left to find Dietrich Meats, or give us a call at area code 610-756-6344. In the me era, 1975 saw Bill Gates and Paul Allen create the company Microsoft. One of the very first blockbuster films, Jaws, is released. NASA launches the first joint United States and Soviet Union space flight. In December 1975, the Dietrich family opened their doors to what would become an establishment dedicated to continuing the traditional food ways of the Pennsylvania Dutch culture. Never afraid of hard work, long hours, or competition, Verna cared for customers seven days a week. Tasting is believing, she'd tell folks who dropped by as she offered samples of her homemade tasty treats. At a prime location along Interstate 78, it wasn't long before Verna soon found travelers appreciating her quality products and charming personality, stopping by again and again to stock up and check in on her. Well, I love to meet people, and I love to meet new people, and old people, some old friends come in. 
Some I didn't see for a long time. Some are from Connecticut, some are from Vermont, like Rhode Island, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Pottstown or Pottsville or Connecticut. Or they come in from, some come from Germany. I've had bus loads over from Germany already. Well, you just never know who pops in. Once upon a time, while working at the iconic Kutztown Folk Festival, I was tasked with going around the fairgrounds and talking to different vendors and, well, you know, the real people like Verna Dietrich that had the stands, that lived the life, that weren't, you know, pretend people. This wasn't Disneyland. This is the real thing. And I asked Verna, because I was archiving interview segments for future generations, to tell me a little bit about her products. And I think she went on talking without me having to interrupt or prompt her for about 15 minutes. <laughs> it's a true story. And what she shared sounded a little bit like this. We have dry beef and beef jerky made out of flank steak. We also have filet mignon. We can cut your filet mignon and prime rib of beef off out of and Delmonico steaks and T-bone, porterhouse, sirloin, London broil. Oh, well, Delmonico steaks, they're nice and tender or uh, filet. Prime rib, short ribs of beef are good if you cook them and make a good vegetable soup. Pig stomach I like and fill them up with the potatoes and onions and stuff and duck legs and duck breasts and goose breasts. Well, we char, we tell a lot of charred stuff like uh, cha cha and bread and butter pickles and dill pickles and, and we homemade sauerkraut. A lot of people look for that stuff. And we sell a lot of homemade chili, strawberry and a blackberry, blueberry. Well, we made chocolate shoe flies with the red chocolate bottom, and we also have honey shoe flies and molasses shoe flies, and marble cake with a chocolate bottom, which is a funny cake because it has marble chocolate and white through each other, and a lemon shoe fly. We make raspberry custards, black raspberry custards, red raspberry custards, uh, strawberry rhubarb crumb pies, and apple crumb and apple dumplings and peach dumplings when they're in season. We make that lemon strip with the sweet strips on, lemon strip pies. And we make lemon sponge and custards and lemon meringue. And we make chocolate cream, the chocolate pudding cream pies. And Nowadays, when we want to reminisce about yummy Pennsylvania Dutch goodies and enjoy the taste of tradition, we only have to travel as far as Krumsville to Dietrich's Meats and Country Store where we can travel back in time in just a moment to enjoy the delicious aromas, tastes, and the sounds of years gone by. More than 60 years after tending that single table at Redinger's Farmer's Market, Verna can still be seen daily at her desk, answering the phone and behind the counter catching up with faithful customers or greeting new faces always ready with her iconic sales pitch. Stop in sometime and I'll give you samples so you to get your taste buds going. You have to taste it. Your tasting is believing. Stop out with Now let's enjoy another commercial. It's a mystery to many, but those who do know what Scrapple is go one of two ways. <laughs> they either go hog wild over it. Ever have it? All the time. Love it. Tasty. Or they push the pork off the plate. It's, uh... It's just not my, not my flavor. <laughs> I can't eat it. Why not? Because I know what's in it. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute, but first, a little history. The breakfast treat was invented more than 200 years ago, a specialty of the Pennsylvania Dutch. At Dietrich's Meats in Crumbsville, Berks County, the Dietrich family makes the mush all year round. There's really no said way you have to make scrap or you can make it according to your liking. Looking at how the finger food is made, you figure out how it got its name. The word scrapple comes from scraps, as in cornmeal boiled in scraps of pork. And years ago, they made scrapples off with whatever they had, sure. Once formed into a loaf, the scrapple is usually sliced and fried. I know it's there, but uh, I don't like to share. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't bother you? Not at all. You don't waste anything in this family. With all this talk, I decided to give it a try. That's an interesting flavor. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought. So if you're sampling the stuff for the first time or mulling the mound of meat again, there's 
no better time to pig out. And why do they call it Scrapple? Now you know. Jocelyn Mose, 69 News. Mm -mm -mm. You like it? Uh, no way. I Kathy? love no. it. Kathy loves Matter of fact, I love to fry it up with a little bit of flour and then put it in a sandwich with a lot of ketchup and a ton of onions. Mm. Different. Mm. Mm. Yes, I'd do it again. I don't want to be back in the, in the factory now. I'm my own boss. I can handle it.